It was Friday on a dark night. I was investigating another case. It seemed like a kid who was truly grateful to getting to 100k, reaching his dreams honestly. Well, we all know that is not the case with Real Matt, the Roblox clickbaiter who is infamous for his Roblox clickbaiting videos, which usually involve a YouTuber being slandered. Many YouTubers have already made a topic about this, and I realize that. However, in today's video, I'd like to offer a different take on the situation, explain it in full detail, and offer my proper solution instead of just stop making that content altogether. Let's get started in our first episode of Content Cop. Yo, what's up, Hashtag Nerd Squad, and welcome back to another video. Before we start this video, I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe to the channel. Only around 25% of my viewers are subscribed. Secondly, I'd like to put out a disclaimer, and I will show that on the screen quickly right now. This is just a quick reminder that this is a critique of Real Matt. If you are going to comment in Real Matt's comments, comment something that he can improve on. Simply do not just comment an insult. Hate will actually not help. It is constructive criticism that does. Instead, comment that instead. If you have any critique for this video, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. Let's get into the first part of our video. What Matt is doing wrong, exactly. Well, you see, Matt really likes to play to the emotions of his viewers, per se. In an example thumbnail, Matt tries to paint its funny in a negative light, putting, she forgot to stop recording, very sad. He generally follows the same format, putting shock factor to gain viewers, which is in some form a clickbait tactic. You may notice that Matt actually has a disclaimer on his channel description. It states that Matt does not own his channel and it is fact owned by his dad, also that his content is 100% legal. Well, Matt is actually somewhat right here, however, he misses the mark just by a bit. You see, Matt's Robux videos are not legal. They promote spam and misleading content in YouTube's terms of service. However, his YouTube videos are technically legal, as while they don't promote bad messages about the YouTubers or exposing content, they just paint YouTubers in a negative light per se. By YouTubers giving Matt all this attention, some are actually taking the liberty to go watch his videos and dislike them. And in fact, he brags about that he competes to clickbait. He is fully aware of the situation, and although he's apologized in the past, he is living off this bad reputation. Matt is also known for his multiple calls to action in his videos, where he says subscribe or blank will happen to you. Although this is a minor detail, many people criticize him about it. However, the problem about Matt that some people see is a power struggle on YouTube, having a clickbait person who ultimately does not put effort into maintaining YouTube terms of service and guideline standards into their own content, being successful on YouTube, and in fact making a bit of racks with it. However, here's where the real problem starts. This content is all okay, but what if the actual creator you made the video on sees this content? Well, that's exactly what happened. Albert reported one of the videos. Albert Stuff is a YouTuber, also known as Flamingo, if you do not know already. Also, other YouTubers have not commented to consent, and they believe that these videos are fake as well. Many creators are getting angry that this video happens, such as myself. I work extremely hard to gain my subscribers. In fact, these videos take me around two hours, and I'm sure they do for many others as well. Let's get into Dilemma. What can Matt do to fix this problem exactly? A reasonable solution. See, I don't believe Matt is inherently a bad guy. I mean, everyone needs to make a living off YouTube somehow, however, this is just not the way to do it. Instead of making these negative videos about creators, interpreting these videos in a horrific and sometimes disgusting way, Matt can actually interpret these videos in a more friendlier way. Example, if Albert makes a video saying, I'm gonna take a break, he can make a video interpreting why he thought he'd take that break in a respectful manner. Example, he wanted to spend more time with his family, ETC. See, I don't really agree with all these vigilantes simply telling Albert to stop making that type of content. It's what his channel is successful for. When I stopped making the kind of content that people wanted, my channel went down. Matt could rely on this revenue. 
Therefore, I propose this solution as an effective yet somewhat similar way to his YouTuber videos. That's all for my thoughts. Thank you so much for watching my video. Here is some of the featured fan art for today's video. I hope you can like and subscribe. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video.